As our founder once said many, many years ago, we always want to see what's on the other side of the rainbow. So you get in your Airstream and you fulfill your dreams in traveling. It's where all kinds of people, uh, all colors, all religions, all creeds, and we come together because we have a common theme. We love our Airstream trailers. And change the tire. It's on hinges. It flips up so you can For change the tire. Had to do our Airstreams are probably the oldest RV going uh, in terms of travel trailers. They were invented by a man named Wally Byam in about 1931, working out of his garage, I think, and pretty soon he started mass producing them because people seemed to like them a lot. By the 1950s, so many of them had them, Wally asked himself, what do we do with them? So he decided to make air streaming a social thing. And he said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take people places as groups. We're gonna make these caravans. Why do you choose to lead a caravan? because I want to go learn more about what Americans do at their best to this. Everybody is the same, everybody has a good time, and everybody enjoys themselves. And so I'm looking forward to seeing the people coming on my caravan. I get an enjoyment of seeing them have fun. It's a family, there's nothing fake. Everyone is on the same plane. Caravans, that's why people really join the club. And you join a group of other Airstreamers to go and do things over a period of two weeks or two months or whatever. You can go to Alaska on an Alaska caravan. And you make friendships there from people from all over the country. And it's at the international rallies like this that you renew those friendships. But when people see a few of these Airstream trailers all together on the road. What is their reaction? They, they have to love seeing you all together. We get a lot of honks uh, from people and thumbs up signs as they pass because they are iconic. They are made in America. It's the only RV, oh, an example of which sits in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City because it is such an iconic American design. And now, especially this period of time in our history where we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of man's landing on the moon, guess where they, those three astronauts went as soon as they let, splashed down? They went into a modified Airstream trailer that was designated the mobile quarantine facility. Why? Because it was feared they might be carrying back moon germs. Well, that m mobile quarantine facility, the public can see today. It's sitting in the Air and Space Museum's uh, Udver Hazy Center out near Dulles Airport and they're a piece of history, and everyone loves history. So they enjoy looking, even if they don't camp. And we enjoy doing finishing touches and putting our own personal touch to it. Just uh, we go antiquing a lot, and we try to furnish period correct with the year of the trailer. This is the oldest Airstream here. Yes, it is. It's a 1947. We have owned it for approximately seven years. It was, uh, restored from the frame up. We see the same people and, and made friends with the same people, so we get to see them anytime we get together. Great people, everywhere we go, all over the country. It's a friendship. It seems like everyone's a cheerleader for everyone else. Yes, we are. This is truly enjoyable, and it's, truly, it's a way of life. It truly is. There are four clubs that make up the Commonwealth's Airstream community. Northern Virginia, Virginia, Tidewater, and Shenandoah Valley. Brodsky says clubs typically hold rallies one weekend a month and participate in international rallies like the one held in Doswell in July. It was the first time ever that Virginia hosted it. More than 1,300 people camped in about 700 trailers.